Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at two new light bulbs from Firefly. The first one is a free step dimming bulb. What this means is that when you first turn it on, it's at 20% brightness. If you turn it off and on at the wall, it will be at 60%. Turn it off and on again, and it will be at 100%. So that's 2 watts, 7 watts, 12 watts. So instead of having to get an electrician to come and install a dimmer in your wall, you can just replace your existing bulb with this one, and just turning the light on and off will adjust the brightness. Now I previously looked at one of these bulbs before and while it's cool, it's not as cool as this one. This is a stepless dimming bulb, which means when you first turn it on, it will get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And when it gets to the level that you want, you quickly flick the switch off and then on and it will lock it in at that position. So with this one, you can dim it anywhere from around half a watt up to nine watts, which is pretty impressive. Now ordinarily this would go into a side lamp or it would screw into your ceiling but that wouldn't be very practical for me to show on video so I'm going to use this little light socket here so I can just turn it on and off but imagine that this was your switch on your wall and that was the one you were switching on and off. So we'll start with the free step dimming bulb. If I turn it on that is now 100% brightness. If I turn it off and then on that's now 60% brightness and if I turn it off and on that's now 20% brightness. Now I'm not sure how well it will show up on camera, but trust me, it is adjusting quite a lot. You're going from 12 watts to seven watts to two watts. So you didn't have to install any kind of dimmer in your wall, you didn't have to get an electrician. All you had to do was replace your old bulb with this new dimming one, and you get the dimming function, very cool. So I've changed my camera settings so it won't automatically adjust to the different light. So if we turn it on, you can see it starts dim and then it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and it will go all the way up to 9 watts. So you can see we're now on full brightness. But let's say I didn't want full brightness, I want it to be half brightness. I would turn it on and then I'd say, okay I want it just about there. Turn it off, then turn it on. That's now locked in at that state. And then let's say I decided actually I want it brighter, I can turn it off turn it on and this time wait for it to get even brighter so you can see it's gradually getting brighter and brighter and brighter then I can flick it off flick it on and again I've locked in that exact brightness level now of course there's an easier way to demonstrate this by using a watt meter if we take a free step dimming it's meant to start off in high mode which is 12 watts so let's turn it on and there you go we're reading 11.7 watts then it's meant to go into medium mode so let's turn it off turn it on and it's reading 6.9 watts, so that's our medium mode. Then let's turn it off and on. And you can see it's measuring 2.4 watts. So that's an easier way to demonstrate that this is dimming. Every time you turn it on and off, it's changing between high, medium, and low. Now let's try the same thing, but with our stepless dimming bulb. So if I turn on our power meter, we can see it's dim, and it's measuring around 1 watt, 2 watts, 3 watts, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine around nine and a half watts so gradually it increases until it gets to the brightness that you want so this is the lowest setting you can get 0.55 watts it's not producing much light but if you wanted a very dim light in your bedroom at night or something like that then this might be just the right brightness or flick it off flick it on and then say actually i want a bit brighter than that let's go for around five watts something like that flick it off flick it on that should now be locked around five watts there you go, 5.12 watts. So it's very easy and you can adjust it anywhere from like really dim to very bright. So yeah, very impressive bulb. And there's something interesting about this free step dimmer bulb. Right now I've got it plugged into a dimmer box. Normally if you plug a LED bulb into a dimmer and it's not designed to be dimmable, it just flickers. But watch this, if I turn on the dimmer, even at the lowest setting, the bulb comes on. And if I increase, nothing happens. And if I decrease, nothing happens which is really interesting because if I unscrew this bulb and then put in another bulb this is a Philips but you'll see pretty much the same effect with any LED bulb that isn't designed for dimming now if I turn on the dimmer you'll see nothing happens <clears throat> get higher and it comes on but it's flickering and then if I put it on the top of the dimmer it works okay because it's just like it's plugged into the mains but if I decrease it we get this flicker or strobe and you'll probably destroy the bulb if you did that long enough. So I don't know like what exactly they've done but interestingly this free step dimmer bulb from Firefly even if you run it for a dimmer it doesn't seem to care. I'm not saying you should do that because it's designed for just a normal on off switch but it's just something curious that I noticed and thought I'd share with you.
Now recently I've had a few people ask me, what's the quality of Firefly like? We've looked inside, but how do they perform long term? Well, I've put together this torture test. Let me show you. Now what you're seeing there isn't a problem with the camera, that's actually the light bulb flicking on and off, on and off super, super fast. I've created a special circuit which turns a light bulb on and off at a really high frequency. So this is like a torture test, and I'm gonna leave this running for an hour and see what happens. Now, if I take this bulb out, I'll just screw in a flip to show you an example of how that one performs. Whoa, and that one is going crazy. <laughs> Now that was funny because with that one I could actually hear it going da -da 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 -da, with it turning on and off really fast. But the idea of this is to stress test this Firefly. So I'm gonna leave this in here for an hour where it's flicking on and off super fast and then we'll see if the bulb survives. Hopefully it will. So the bulb has been turning on and off rapidly for around an hour. So that's a pretty good torture test to flick this thing on and off, on and off, on and off that fast for an hour. Let's see if it still works as expected. Let's turn it on. Okay, and it's increasing, increasing, increasing because this is the stepless dimming bulb and it still seems to be working as it originally did. Let's try turn it off and then see if we can get it to stop somewhere in the middle. So it's increasing. I'll flick it off and then on. Now remember there is a little bit of averaging going on here so what you saw when I turned it off might not exactly match what you see now I've turned it on. But yeah, there you go, it's working as expected. So it survived the torture test of being turned on and off at a high frequency for an hour. So there you go, that's the two new dimming bulbs from Firefly. They sent these to me for Christmas as gifts and I really like them. Like I said, I had seen the free step dimming one before but I'd never seen this stepless dimming. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.